in that case? Well, yeah, especially this line uh, that the president quoted where the report refers to him as a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. Uh, what is the word elderly doing there? Uh, and poor memory, what is the test of that? Might that be Donald Trump saying, I don't recall 400 times under oath in the same deposition? Is that a good test of it? Um, the, the idea that witnesses over a 40-year discussion, 40-year discussion, don't remember everything, or that someone who graduates from college in June can't tell you where the diploma is in September, mm -hmm. uh, that seems to be a condition that, that this uh, special prosecutor doesn't understand in the human mind. Uh, so I, I'm going to be fascinated when I can get into uh, all these hundreds of pages to see what is it that makes you stress the lack of memory in this particular case, uh, where you have this completely cooperative uh, witness, and there has never been a witness under oath anywhere being questioned over a period of years of that witness's life where they don't say, I do not recall. It is impossible to ask witnesses questions where they answer will not be, I don't recall. And if you don't get that response, it just means you didn't af ask enough questions. Can I, can I speak just on that? Because yeah. I had the same thought. It's fairly standard lawyering to advise people, even when in doubt or you think you might remember. If you can credibly say, I don't recall about something, that's a standard legal advice. And it has nothing to do with the age of the person giving the deposition. When you're under oath, you can't lie. If you do recall, you have to say that you can, but if you can't... Exactly. Well, that, that's the whole point, right, Rachel? That basically, because of those standards, uh, the extra burden that you don't want to get anything wrong means yes. you err on the side of saying, I don't recall, I don't remember, unless you really specifically do. And if, you, if there's a, a thing that might seem minor and you're not sure and you're being asked about a very specific aspect of it, like, was it in the morning, that meeting, or was it in the afternoon? And you had that meeting that day and you even refreshed your notes... You know, I don't recall what part, time of day. And so, oh my gosh, you're you're 25 and you can't tell the morning and, and night apart. I, I will tell you this because because we're going to get to all of it. But uh, the president came out and spoke tonight because on the one hand he has very good news. Uh, this exhaustive investigation led by a Trump era holdover prosecutor cleared him of the wrongdoing on classified documents. No charges. Cleared him. No charges. End of story. Case closed. Good news. But he has a political piece of bad news woven in there, which is what seems like cheap shot derogatory attacks on him, um, which I wouldn't call normal course of investigatory material. No. And so maybe Mr. Herr would be better suited going for a job as White House physician. <laughs> but, but he'd have to go and get a, a medical degree, too, because legally there's no interest or relevance to his views of the, the president's overall memory. If it's very specifically to the mental criminal intent or mens rea and you say you could have this criminal intent and you didn't remember this, you didn't mean to do it, sure. But, but talking about... Um, how, for example, the president remembers or discusses his son's death and, and Mr. Herder and his team's apparent view that that tells you something. Um, the, as soon as I saw that today, I thought, wow, that's a real partisan kind of tell in a report that has a good news legal headline. And, and the president just showing absolute rage um, at that point yes. tonight. There, I, oh, there no. was one adverb in particular that has sort of that struck me, which is painfully, which the author of this report, presumably Mr. Herr himself, uses. The president was, his, his memory was painfully bad or... It was his, some of the, dis the tapes they heard were painfully slow. The discussion painfully was painfully slow. slow. That's right. Painfully slow. And I just thought, well, who's in pain? Like, what, that, that adverb is such a, it's doing so much work yeah. editorially. Well, You're in pain because it takes too long? Like, it's just very clear, it, just contained in that adverb is this kind of, like, siren call that's leaping off the page about him understanding exactly how this is going to resonate. A little political 